This year's rover is manufactured all in-house. We've done it all here at NIU uh, using our 3D printers and the water jet, and so we've had to come up with out-of-the-box thinking, hence the name Exarca, out-of-the-box. Our mechanical arm design is superior due to the fact that it has six degrees of freedom. Those six degrees of freedom allow the arm to be more manipulable, so for a lot of the gearboxes and the motor mounts, we 3D printed those, but for the rest of the arm, we cut it out of sheet aluminum and we placed it all together using finger joints. Our mechanical arm has two different end effectors. We have one for science task and one for fine element control, and they can actually be fully removed when not needed. We designed the connections for the end effectors by making them plug and play. The arm will be able to lift about five to 10 kilograms. I am the head of the science task. To test for life on Mars, we're going to be using two apparatuses. The first is an auger system that will bring up soil that will be transferred to a box, where which our second apparatus, the MPK sensor, will then determine the amounts of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in the soil. While we're not testing for life directly, we're testing for the possibility of it. The rover is powered by two LiPo batteries. They're 22.2 volts. Each battery is rated for 8,000 milliamp hours. Lithium polymer batteries are used because they're able to handle repeated power draw. And we have them in parallel. So we essentially have one big battery that's 16,000 milliamp hours. We plan to test the atmosphere of the planet using a barometer sensor and a thermometer sensor. Knowing the pressure of the atmosphere and knowing the temperature of the atmosphere is also integral to being able to decipher whether or not life could occur on Mars. The programs that we use for the rover are programmed into our ROS, our robot operating system. We primarily use Python within ROS to do all of our individual programs. Arduino is the programming language which we use to control the electronics such as the motors. The most innovative uh, aspect of our Mars rover is that we're building it both for now and for the future. Our rover is highly, highly modular. It's not welded in, it's not like bent into place. We're able to innovate and innovate and innovate on it. The Rocker Bogey suspension system uses a different mechanism than most suspension systems. Instead of using springs, it uses a rocker and a bogey that makes sure that when the rover goes over an obstacle, there's always two wheels on the ground. Communication is established between the rover and the control station via an ultra-high frequency radio antenna. The rover reacts to obstacles in the environment using a variety of sensors. One of the main ones we use is a depth sensor that's located in the front of the rover. It works similarly to how our eyes work, where it has two cameras and it can detect depth, but also distance. The spirit of collaboration here at the rover team is really great. I am proud of what we have accomplished. My work at the NIU's Mars rover has prepared me for the future. The rover that we had in mind four years ago is coming together. I'm looking forward to what the future has for us. Go, Go Huskies! Huskies.